Protectors of the Suna. Suna Baba. Protector of the Suna. Welcome to another session of Sunnah Followers Hadith class. And this is the Hadith class wherein we discuss Hadiths that pertain to women. And with that said, let's put the Hadith for today up on the screen. And the source of this Hadith is Abu Daoud, and it's narrated by Aisha, my role model, Aisha. She said that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked about a person who found moisture on his body or clothing, but did not know if he had a, a sexual dream or not. The Prophet said, if that happens, the person should take a bath. He was asked about a person who remembered that they did have the dream, but didn't find any moisture. The Prophet said, in that ca case, the bath is not necessary for him. And then Um Salama, who was one of the wives of the prophet asked, she said, is washing also necessary for a woman if she sees that in a dream? And he said, yes, women are the same as men. So here you learn from this wonderful hadith about, again, which shows how complete Islam is, that Allah even taught us how to handle ourselves in regards to wet dreams. If you have a wet dream and then you wake up, and you find uh, moisture in your clothing or on your body, then you have to take a ghusl, a complete bath, a complete bath. That means the same type of bath you would take you know, if you had relations with your wife. That bath includes for uh, take uh, uh, washing you know, your whole body from head to toe. For you women, you don't have to take a loose your braids because you don't have to undo your braids uh, uh, after relations with your husband, but you do have to wet your entire hair, run, let the water run through your braids and hair, okay? But if you have a wet dream and you wake up and don't see any moisture, you don't feel any moisture, there's no moisture on your clothing, nothing in the bed, then you don't have to take a gusso. So it's a very simple hadith you know, uh, that really answers that question for us, because everyone has wet dreams, men have them, and so do women. Believe it or not, there are some men out there who don't think that women are human. They think that women don't have wet dreams. Well, women are, just like the prophet said, we are the same as men. We have sexual desires, and we have wet dreams. If the a wet dream occurs when the body, this it's the body's way, of releasing itself naturally. It's just the way Allah created us. And Allah created women to be the counterparts of men. So just as if a man does not have relations, his body will release itself naturally, the same occurs with women. If we're not having relations, our body will release itself naturally th too through our dreams. But if you wake up and find the wetness and the moisture, take a gusso. But if you don't see any wetness or, or you don't remember if it was a wet dream or not, you see no signs of it, then you don't have to worry about it. And that's a real simple hadith to understand. Anyone would like to comment or have any questions about this hadith? Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum salam. That's a really good hadith, and I, Jazakallah, uh, uh, Karen, I really, it's really good because it's something that uh, everyone should know about, but also young girls really should hear about that too, but everyone, every woman, man, whoever should know, because like you said, some men don't even know that women have these things happen to them. Uh, uh, you know, they think only men. It only happens to men that that women don't have the same desires or the same needs or, or whatever that they do. And that's unfortunate. And so it'd be good for them to learn about it too. 
And of course, it's always good for your children. You know, I know I used to talk to my daughters with what I did know uh, and uh, make sure that they were informed of these things because I didn't want them to learn anything from outside, you know, in the street or anything. No telling what somebody going to tell them, you know. But uh, that's a very good hadith. Very good uh -huh. hadith. Law. Exactly. Yeah. Anybody else would like to share? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I think the only thing I wanted to say was um, this hadith, you know, shows even though men and women have, you know, different strengths and weaknesses, they are both seen equal in the deen of Allah and they, you know, they get rewarded for the same thing. Exactly. You know, uh, we're all equal spiritually and we're all human. We have the same emotions, same feelings. Women may be more emotional than men, but that doesn't mean that uh, women don't have them uh, emotions and we have feelings and needs too. You know, and Allah created us in his magnificent way, whereas if we can't release ourselves naturally, uh, uh, or uh, it'll release itself some other type of way. And that's a good thing to know. And it's, you shouldn't feel bad about it when it happens. There are some Muslims out there that feel bad about wet dreams. Why do you feel bad about it? It's your body releasing itself. It's something that Allah created you to do. You know, it's something that everybody else experiences as well. You know, not just you, every human experiences this. So it's nothing to be ashamed about. It's not, and you should try to make your children not feel ashamed about it when it happens. Just let them know this is normal. This is a part of life and alhamdulillah and keep it moving. Okay, anyone else would like to share? Let's put this hadith back up on the screen again. And uh, again, it shows also uh, the outspokenness that women should have women you know there's a time to be shy and a time not to be we should never be too shy to ask questions about the religion and you see this from um salama thanks to um salama we would not have known this because she dared to speak up and ask well what about a woman and by the way when she asked this question some of the men laughed at her some of the men laughed at her and the prophet asked, why are you laughing? They said, women don't have wet dreams. And that's when the prophet said "Then, oh, really? Then how is it that the child comes out looking like its mother's brother? How is it that the child can come out looking like its mother's father? He said, women experience wet dreams and women experiences uh, uh, climaxes just like men do. So he told this man, it's nothing to make fun of or laugh because he, they laughed at Um Salama, trying to say that women were not human, that we didn't have wet dreams and we didn't have climaxes. And the prophet had to correct him on that. So you learn from this too, how as women, we should never be too ashamed or too shy to ask questions about this deen. And there's blessings in you for doing it. Imagine the blessings. This is ongoing charity, ongoing charity that Um Salama is getting to this day because she had the, the guts to ask the question that other people were too shy to ask. So you also learn that from this hadith as well. So again, you know, I'd like to thank everybody for joining and for participating in this session of our Hadith class. That's Subhanakalahumma wa bihamdika, ashadu an la ilaha ila anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.